Welcome, everybody. I'm Keith Schaefer, editor at investingwhisperer.com. Today with me on a backstage pass is Stone Gold Inc. with CEO John Timmons and consulting geologist Tim Toomey. And so this is a, a very high potential Red Lake play that's being drilled right now. And I don't want to waste any more time because Tim's going to be able to do a great uh, geological uh, summary here that explains how these two trends are going to get tested ASAP. And then we're going to do the last couple of minutes with John talking about a little bit about corporate structure and how they came to get this property. So, Tim, I'm going to hand the mic over to you and uh, let you explain the high potential property we've got here. Oh, very good. Thank you, Keith. Um, I just want to start off with a regional view, the overview. What you're looking at here is a map of the Red Lake Greenstone Belt. And it is a prolific belt for gold. There's been 25 million ounces mined in this belt uh, since 1930 and many more ounces in the ground that are in reserves and resources. And uh, as a geologist, I can tell you that I've never seen such potential in rocks for such high gold grades in any other belt in my career. So it truly is a remarkable place to look for gold. And that is a lot of fun. So just want to point out to you the Mount Jamie North property is in the west end of the belt. So in this uh, complicated picture, you have uh, the geology plus the regional alteration and regional deformation zones. They're very important because it is in these regions within the belt that are uh, the gold mine. So this is where you wanna explore uh, for elephants in the elephant country. And you'll see the red dots. Just wanna explain the dots are gold deposits. The larger dots are the large gold deposits looking like uh, Campbell Red Lake, Koshner, Madsen, Howie, Hasaga, and the smaller red dots surround them. But if you look in the west end of the belt, it's quite underexplored compared to the east end. You see a lot of little red dots, but where are the big red dots? So um, we acquired this property and it truly is underexplored. Uh, which is quite surprising actually. And so I just want to zoom in on that one on the next slide. And we'll just look at the geology at uh, Mount Jamie North property. And you can see it there, that's in a bluish uh, rectangular uh, shape. That's the Mount Jamie North property. And I just want to talk a little bit about our neighbors. So there's some gold trends that are being rejuvenated now with some brand new exploration. Trillium gold is drilling off the Newman Todd zone as we speak. They're getting some very good numbers on that. It's a little bit of an unusual um, rock type. It's in a, a um, carbonate sedimentary unit. And that unit trends and folds and actually continues on to the Mount Jamie North project. Uh, they're finding gold right on surface with their drills. So we call those drills our truth machines. And uh, also next door is um, the Rowan mine, and that is uh, has about a million ounces in res resources, uh, inferred resources right now. It's also a past producer. And that gold trend also continues on to the Mount Jamie mine, which was also a past producer. And that's directly adjacent to the Mount Jamie North, our property. In fact, we're about uh, 300 meters away from the Mount Jamie mine number two shaft. So that's also a good gold trend to explore. So we have these two trends that are uh, being explored right now and they trend onto the Mount Jamie North. So let's look in a bit closer to the geology. And here you can see a 1973 map. And this used to be a patent called WS Hall. Mount Jamie North property was staked during the uh, entire gold rush that was in the 1930s and it was patented then. And very little work was done since then. I saw some old trenches there from that era in the 1930s. There's 80 year old trees growing up in them. And there's been no diamond drilling since then whatsoever. Um, because the patented ground, you can just hold on to it without doing any work. Well, those patents came open recently for non-payment of taxes. And that's when it was staked up and when we acquired it. And so this presents a really good opportunity here for the extension of known gold trends onto very unexplored ground. So I've put together a, a Bayesian ranking system. Uh, we've identified 
three uh, targets and put six uh, drill holes that uh, could drill these. Here's the first three. So these have been approved. There's some grab samples that I took, 5.8 grams per ton on the main Mount Jamie trend. And there's also this carbonate unit trend that you can see in red as well. And so let's just go to the next slide and we'll talk a bit about some of the exploration we've done this summer. This is a uh, airborne magnetic map. This was made by a uh, drone survey. So this is new technology. A drone flies right over treetop level, very tight line spacing with very precise and exact data. So we can get a good picture of the rock's uh, magnetic signatures. And this helps us a lot to, to interpret the structures on the project. And here you can see the six uh, potential drill targets and we've selected three of them for diamond drilling uh, this winter. And uh, this, this is very exciting because this is new technology and it's never been um, tried here on the Mount Jamie North property and quite underexplored. So we have um, high hopes for this. Sorry, Tim, can you say what the new technology is again? This is a drone magnetics, uh, airborne magnetics technology. Uh, gives you very precise magnetic data, which you can see here. And that helps us interpret the structures, the magnetic breaks and uh, washouts. And that provides uh, a one layer of targeting that we use also with lithogeochemistry and with um, other uh, geochemical uh, indicators. So put these layers all together and we rank these targets, a simple Bayesian ranking. And we've come up with uh, six targets uh, shown here and three of them we've selected for drilling, the highest uh, potential targets. No. And I just wanna point out ranking, this isn't a one-off, this uh, ranking actually is an iterative process in exploration as we gather more data. Uh, we also re-rank these targets continually. So this first phase of drilling is gonna give us some very useful information and we have high hopes for these structures and we'll continually be re-ranking and uh, refining these targets. Does this also help us uh, decide uh, how to point the drills in terms yes, of- Yes, yeah. exactly. So we'll be drilling the recent targets from the North. These will be about 350 meter holes, minus 45 degrees, fairly simple holes to test uh, these structures. And then from that, we can refine uh, how to follow up the targets. And you say the other players have been finding gold right at surface. In fact, most of the gold at Red Lake has been found right at surface, despite its reputation as a very deep, nuggety play. Well, that's right. If you look at the history of the Red Lake mining, it started off, all of these mines started off as surface exposure. So um, this is another one of them. And there's new areas being found and new types of gold deposits being found. So um, we have high hopes for actually both of these kinds of targets that we see here. Tim, we've only got uh, less than a couple of minutes left here. You want to just tell the crowd here your background in Red Lake? Yes. Well, I was a, a senior exploration geologist and a mine geologist for Gold Corp at the Red Lake Mine. And in 1995, I was involved in the discovery of the high grade zone, which was very exciting. It was the highlight of my career. And uh, I was involved in delineating it, and exploring it. Um, making resources and actually mining it, and then went on to do regional exploration with Gold Corp for 14 years in the Red Lake Belt. And I love this belt because it just has such high potential. And you've drilled how many holes did you figure in Red Lake? Uh, I personally have logged about 280,000 feet of drill core. Cha, cha, cha. Awesome. Uh, now, we've just got one minute left. John, you want to talk a little bit about, about how... Uh, you, you came to the company and, and uh, what you see happening here over the next uh, timeline in terms of the next four to five months, we've only got about 30 seconds, but. Sure, I came into the company here in November of last year and certainly would like to take credit for all of this, but it's really what brought me to the company here was, you know, seeing this quality project, having a guy like Tim on side here, um, you know, speaking to the merits of it, it really gives me a lot of confidence here to get a market the stock. Um, you know, going forward here, we are currently negotiating a drill contract for First Q. We hope to announce that shortly and, and drill this Mount Jamie property here. Awesome. And so uh, really, and, and maybe just in the last 10 seconds here, the share structure on the company is pretty tight. Yeah, there's 26 million out right now. Uh, there's a bit of a warrant overhang of about 10 million warrants. So we look at that as you know, a bit of an advantage here. There's another 18 months. 
uh, potential put another 1.4 million in the bank and not have to go to the market here. So we're sitting about 1.1 million cash for now. If we can get those warrants in, we sit about two and a half million dollars, um, which gives us you know additional funds here to continue exploration with success in Mount Jamie. Awesome. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time today. Very grateful, very informative. And uh, that's our time. God bless you. Thanks, You're Keith. You're welcome, Keith. Thanks.